this next topic, there is one single tip. If you're looking to save your Tesla battery, not have it degrade too much, maybe even as low as a 5% de degradation over the course of a few hundred miles, then there's one tip that you have to do to follow so that your battery does not degrade too much. Let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Des. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Andy Sly and also Inside EVs for writing this article. This Tesla model. Model 3 has only dropped down to 95% battery capacity after 135,000 miles. Here's the one tip that Andy Sly actually added for his five-year-old Tesla Model 3. All right, so I guess two simple tips. The first one, taking a look at it. I mean, definitely go check out that video if you're interested in taking a look. But reading through this, it was pretty interesting because he's got a long-range EV for the Tesla Model 3. It's also got the NCA battery type or nickel cobalt aluminum. And the one thing he did was that he did not use any of the supercharger miles that he actually has. He only charged at home level one or level two. And number two is that he only set his charge, I guess the whole life, up to 80% state of charge maximum. I mean, yes, uh, the Tesla used to recommend like only charge to 90%, but only as of like six months or a year ago, they started recommended only charging it to 80%. And so certainly if you want to have longevity, you don't want too much degradation, maybe you can take a look into charging at only 80%. But the one gripe I have with this is when you start to decrease how much battery you're going to be using on a daily basis, if you're anybody that drives over 50, 100, or even 200 miles a day, yes, there's people out there, then that's going to really impact your experience with a Tesla vehicle. So yes, charging it to 80% might be what is best for the battery, but I still probably still, I still do charge up to 90% whenever I can, maybe even 100% on road trips when I get out there. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. But of course, I have a different perspective on Tesla vehicles or EV vehicles. I'm of the mindset, buy it, drive it for three to five years and get onto the new one. Of course, Andy Sly is a different mindset where he probably want to, wants to keep his Tesla vehicle as long as possible. I'm kind of in a different mindset that Teslas are kind of like iPhones and in three to five years, they're going to change a lot just like any EV and the technology is going to increase at a rapid pace. But if you're brand new to Tesla vehicles and if you are brand new to Model 3 performance vehicles, then here's another interesting tidbit that you have not, might not have discovered yet. But depending on your state of charge, your Model 3 performance will have higher or lower speeds from 0 to 60. So this is an interesting one because the Model 3 performance just came out. And shout out to Nick and Drag Hub for posting this. But at certain state of charge, whether it's all the up to 90% down to 5%, your 0 to 60 times will be changed differently. So at 90% or almost 100%, the 0 to 60 was 2.98 seconds. You can see as the battery decreased, I guess maybe he did it over or they did it over and over and over, all the way down to 5%, the 0 to 60 got worse by almost a second, up to 3.93 seconds. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. So I guess if you are at a low state of battery charge, don't be flooring it because you're not going to be able to get the fast or as fast enough speeds. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on 